Hi there, I hope you're having a terrific Memorial Day weekend. I'd like to take just a moment and read an excerpt or two from a letter that's well known, at least to those of you who watch Ken Burns documentaries, a well-known letter written during the Civil War, a union major, his name Major Sullivan Ballou, and I think it's illustrative. Uh, with all due respect to the good times we have over the weekend, the uh, softball games, the apple pie, getting outside with our friends and our family, this is what Memorial Day really means, the ultimate sacrifice made for your country and your wife and your two dear sons. My very dear wife, if it is necessary that I should fall on the battlefield for any country, I am ready. I have no misgivings about, nor lack of confidence in the cause in which I am engaged, and my courage does not halt or falter. I know how strongly American civilization now leans upon the triumph of government and how great a debt we owe to those who went before us through the blood and suffering of the revolution. And I am willing, perfectly willing, to lay down all my joys in this life to help maintain this government and to pay that debt. That's the first paragraph of Major Ballou's letter to his wife, Sarah, and it was written right before the first Battle of Bull Run, right at the beginning of the Civil War. On with the letter. Sarah, my love to you is deathless, and yet my love of country comes over me like a strong wind and bears me irresistibly on with all those chains to the battlefield. The memories of all the blissful moments that I have spent with you comes crowding over me, and I feel most deeply grateful to God and you that I have enjoyed them so long and how hard it is for me to give them up and burn to ashes the hopes of future years when, God willing, we might have still lived and loved together and seen our boys grow up to be honorable men around us. I know I have but few claims upon divine providence, but something whispers to me that I shall return to my loved ones unharmed and if I do not, my dear Sarah, never forget how much I love you, nor that when my last breath escapes me on the battlefield, it will whisper your name. Now, you may have already guessed, because this letter is popular, he obviously was killed just a couple days later during the Civil War. Forgive me my many faults and the many pains I have caused you. How thoughtless, how foolish I have oftentimes been. But, oh, Sarah, if the dead can come back to this earth, and flit unseen around those they loved. I shall always be near you. If the soft breeze fans your cheek, it shall be my breath, or the cool air cools your throbbing temples, it shall be my spirit passing by. Sarah, do not mourn me, my dear. Think that I am gone and wait for me, for we shall meet again. And this is the, the last paragraph, and this is the paragraph that hits me so strongly because I'm a father and uh, incidentally, my wife's name is Sarah, but I've always found this letter to be so emotional. And for a man to realize he's going into battle, probably not going to return from battle, and decide to forego the happy years he could have had with his wife and his two young sons to defend the Constitution and to preserve the Union, this is what Memorial Day really means. As for my little boys, little Willie is too young to remember me long and my blue-eyed Edgar will keep my frolics with him, and they will be among the dimmest memories of his childhood. Sarah, I do have unlimited confidence in your maternal care and your development of their characters. Love, Sullivan. And that is from Major Sullivan Balloon. As I mentioned, he was killed two days later in the first Battle of Bull Run. And so have a terrific Memorial Day weekend. Enjoy your time with your friends and your family and the extra day off work. But do remember the ultimate sacrifice that Major Sullivan Ballou made all those years ago and the hundreds of thousands of other men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. That's what Memorial Day weekend is all about.